my phone. Well, well, I can just 360 this. That's crazy. Oh, there you go. Answer the phone and track is E. David, where the hell are you? Sorry, Evelyn. I called into work to help fix the system. I didn't want to wake you. You have me worried sick. Don't do that to me. You know how I get. How long are you going to be? I'll be back in an hour. You should <laughs> go back to bed. Alright. You had me worried. Wake me up when you get back home. I will. <sighs> Alright, this drive seems to be unending. Pretty long. I guess it sets the mood somewhat, but it's a bit empty. changed. Ooh, the texture changed. I like that. Oh, oh, I love that. You can you can see how like the textures get like gradually worse. Like we're entering a bad area. There's a billboard and that's the gas station. All right, just pull up. Yep, blinking. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Pretty nice stuff. I think we're going to get off. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Look at these. Alright, I have to make this quick. Fill up the car, in and out. I need to make sure no one recognizes me. I hate the, like, the hand stains on the door and stuff. Okay. Open the car door. Alright. Get out. E and F. Alright, so I assume it's this. Fuel car. All right, so let's just get in the car again. What do you mean? I'm so confused, what do you mean? Do I need to pay? Like, do I need to pay? No, right? Oh my god, I guess I do need to pay. I guess they did say in and out. Yo, what's up, dude? What can I do for ya? Oh, what can I do ya for? Sir. <laughs> do not do me. But... I suppose what you can do for me is... 20 on palm 2. Anything else? Nah, that's it. I don't get many customers out here at this time of the night. What brings you out here? Oh, it's clearing up my head. Couldn't sleep. We've been all there. A nice night for it, though. Is that blood stains on the walls, or just like really like moldy walls? I assume it's the second one. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. All right. Then let's get out. Fucker! No! No one's supposed to recognize me. Hey, you! Come over here. Nah, bro. Okay. Yo, what's up? What? What the? Oh. Um. Aren't you David Hill? Yeah, I am. Sorry. Who are you? Oh, sorry, David. I'm Arthur Pierce. I work in a chemical lab just outside of town. Dismiss Chemical Solutions. Isn't your daughter Rebecca? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why, why do you know my daughter? Why do you know my daughter? How did you know? I didn't mean to scare you, David. Sorry about that. No, you... No, no. No apologies taken. What the f... Why do you know my daughter? Rebecca attended the same school as my daughter, Emily. They graduated together a couple of months ago. There now. Alright. 
I remember seeing you at the graduation. Rebecca has mentioned Emily before. Yeah, Emily's heading off to college next week. Exciting times. Is Rebecca heading off too? Yeah, she is. It's exciting. Why are you doing out so late if you don't mind me asking, David? <laughs> if he says a different answer from what he told the cashier, I'm gonna beat his ass. Couldn't sleep. Okay, it's the same excuse. Alright. I get ya. Must be the nerves about Rebecca, right? Yeah, must be. What are you doing out so late? Myself? I'm heading in town to pick up Emily. We let her out tonight with her friends to enjoy a big night before they head off to college. I had some time to kill before I agreed time. Thought I would stop and have a coffee, which is not on your table? Very sus very suspicious. It's not on your table. It's not on your table. Pretty suspicious. Listen, David. Stefan and I would love to have you and the family over for dinner this week before the kids head away. Interested? Oh yeah, we should. We would love to come over. Great! Here, take my number so we can keep in touch and organize it. Sure, Arthur. I better head out now, though. Thanks. No worries, David. I'll see you soon. Do I take the card? I guess we do. It would be rude to not take it. Rando. Oh, I do have a. F I'm not gonna. Not gonna check whatever the fuck that was. Nice. Alright, now let's drive. What the fuck? Don't do this to me. I don't know you. Shouldn't pick up Ano numbers, David. You shouldn't pick it up. Hello? Evelyn, you rang me by accident. I'm gonna hang up now. Is Evelyn? Motherfuck! Drive. <laughs> Drive. <laughs> Drive. I don't know you. Drive now. Ah, oh, shit. What's up? Sorry, David. Did I scare you? Y yes. Yes, you did. Oh, anyway, you forgot your wallet in there. Thought you you would need it. <laughs> now nah, you stole it, bro. I did not take out. I did not take out my wallet whatsoever. You stole that shit. I I know it. Thanks, Har. I better be heading. What you doing with a show? What the fuck, Arthur? Why are you looking at my car for? You going looking for treasure? See, so you're being very scary now, pal. Oh, that. Yeah, I had in the car earlier. I bought it today and forgot to take it out of the car. Then why is it dirty? I basically gonna say something like that. Oh, that's a shame. I could do with some treasure. You know, with Emily heading away to college. I'm sure you're same with Rebecca. Is he gonna kill his daughter or something like? Okay, whatever. Thanks again, Arthur. But I really should be heading now. Don't let me keep you. I'll see you next weekend at my house for dinner. No backing out. <laughs> Brother, I'm looking at you. Okay, fade out. Fade out. Let's look at eyes on the road. Eyes on the road. <laughs> that was some scary. Sh I did not recognize the shovel. I did not realize we had a shovel there. That ain't that ain't even my shovel. That ain't even my shovel. Wait, it's not enough gas? What do you mean it's not- oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're burying someone. Are we burying someone? Bro, I swear, bro was just about to- Bro was just about to hit a tree back there. Alright. Lots of driving here. Okay, this time though it actually makes me feel scared because I feel like Arthur is following me or something. Greenwood Forest. Sunday, 13th of August. I need to get this done quickly. Grab the shovel and head in deep to find a place to dig. 
Do I need to get out of the car to get the shelf? I, I suppose so. Get out. Ooh, this kind of spooky now. Yep, I'm using the flashlight, alright. Oh my god. I'm low-key loving this, but this is horrible. Wow. I should not use my flashlight. There's an animal. Okay. Um, I guess we dig here? Wow, that's a very... Very obviously textured, but all right, let's take the grave. That's steep enough, I must say. That's steep enough. That's steep enough now. That should be deep. <laughs> <laughs> you said what I said, okay. All right, now going back. Why can't we? Why can't we run? I swear there was a run option. Alright. 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 What a wonderful forest. Arthur? Arthur, you, you're not scaring me, bro. I know that. Arthur. Where are you, buddy? Buddy, where are you, buddy? I know you're here, here somewhere, buddy. Buddy, Arthur, Arthur. I didn't do anything, buddy. I just, I just buried, I just buried the ground, Arthur. <laughs> okay. What are we, what are we burying in anyway? a, like, what are we burying? Open trunk. Oh. Okay guys, I, I have a I have a theory here. I have a theory, wait. Okay. So there's no real reason there's no real reason for Arthur to follow us, right? Like there's no there's no real reason for him to follow us. Like even if we murder someone or whatever, even if we had like suspicious shovel in the back of the car, there's no reason for him to follow us. But the thing is, like, he said for Rebecca, right? And he said something like, like, Emily and Rebecca were close or, so, or something, right? In, in university? Uh, no, in, in school, I think. Um, I think this... When he said Rebecca, he does not mean the whole is for Rebecca. I think what he means is this person did something to Rebecca. I think this is Emily. And that girl's father is following us because of this I think that's the only I think I, that's my theory right or this could be Rebecca and he could have just killed his own daughter for no reason but I, I believe because it, because if he killed his own daughter then his wife who called in the, in the beginning should be like, like the wife should be freaked out right it should be like where the fuck is our daughter but but she didn't say that she's just like you had me worried unless unless rebecca called him then then yeah but i think i think it was like karen or something was it do i have a bad memory do i have a bad memory okay who's that yeah who's that yeah yeah i'm looking at you who's that yeah all right Anyway, so I believe this is Emily. We're burying Emily's body, which is why Arthur is fooling us. Probably has a gun, because I don't know. Probably has a gun though. Because why would you follow a guy with a shovel to the woods if you don't have a weapon? Like that's just. Also, if he was suspicious of us just murdering a random person, he wouldn't have come here personally. He would have just called 911. But he came here personally, which means he knows this dead person. 
which I've been looking at for the past minute. And I believe this is Emily. So just gonna take Emily's body and head into the woods. And I'm gonna keep my flashlight on to see Arthur. Arthur, where are you, Arthur? Arthur, Arthur, where are you, Arthur? You here, Arthur? Where the hell is he? I know he's hiding here somewhere waiting to jump scare me. I know it. Okay, that. Okay, this bum here. I like this really like that thing really like makes it scarier you know I'm talking a lot because I'm kind of scared oh my okay okay see birds right birds why do birds fly away because there's someone so I know you're out here somewhere Arthur I know you're watching each and every one of my steps but we're just gonna put your we're just put, put, put it here right you coming here now no I'm gonna fill the grave now all right Okay. Okay, tell me to run. I need to run. Okay. So I know. Time to get the fuck out of here. Alright, so I know Arthur is probably gonna kill me. Oh, fucking. Motherfuck. Okay, that. Fuck you, developer. Okay. Where are you, Arthur? Where are you, Arthur? What the? What? That was just a sound effect. What? What are you talking about? That was just a. F that was just a sound effect. What are you talking about? You should. You should like move the camera to the guy so we will be scared. Oh my god. It was still kind of shocking, but it would be more shocking if there was a guy in there. All right. Now let's read this. Thank you for playing the demo for the game for her. This was the opening scene of the game. The main part of the story takes place one month later. As David returns to work, the night shift alone. Haunted by the choices he made that fateful night, David is a shadow of his former self. Guilt consumes him, turning every shadow into a reminder and every silence into a scream. As the night unfolds, strange occurrences begin to plague the station. Is it his fractured mind, or is something else at play? What truly happened that night, and what price must David pay for the decisions he made? Prepare to uncover the truth and face the consequences in a full game where every action has a cost, and justice isn't always what it seems. Red run to menu. Okay, so that's definitely <laughs> that's definitely a typo. That is definitely a typo. So yeah, so great great demo I feel like really like sets the mood. Um I don't I love this holding. It's it's short, it's concise, it gets to the point. Um I'm waiting to see if that body is actually Emily or not. So I'll probably check out the full game when it releases. But yeah, so you gotta fix like a couple typos. Uh developer, if you're watching this. First one is like this one, Retron to main menu. And I don't know if it's just like my, like it's just me, but like the what can I do you for should be like what can I do for you, right? Like probably, like I don't know, but probably. And fix the jump scare so that it just goes to him, because now I'm getting jump scared by the tree with a with a loud loud sound, so it's a bit confusing, unless you're as smart as me, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so that's for her. See ya.